Hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Behind me is my uh, pipe fence, low cost pipe fence made of chain link products and uh, found salvage. So I'm going to paint today and uh, I've still got paint prep that I'm doing, but I'm so uh, bored with building and I really want to paint. So this side over here is all set. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, spray paint and do this one. So you'll notice that the gate part's not uh, done yet and it's not done because I'm going to pour concrete to catch that post. I've just got work to do on the gates, but the rest of it can still be spray painted. This side's all set. I went ahead and lobbed off the extra parts, uh, the fittings the other day. So I've got those all lobbed off. So this end is completely ready. This end, if I hadn't stripped a couple of bolts down here on the various clamps. So I brought a clamp to tighten that up and make that right would be almost be ready and then uh i need to put a screw in here and straighten this all out but i'm 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 really gonna spray paint as far as i can go let's look at what we got so there is a light wind today so i've got a couple of cans of this encapsulator uh this is what i use on the shipping container this and that's the same stuff it's brushable i've got some rust-oleum high heat and then i have the spray paint so matte black that says Matt back, Matt back. All right, so they're all the same. Let me go ahead and start with the spray paint and see how far I can get. I'm gonna set up the camera and we're gonna give this a whirl. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the spray paint because I want it smooth up here by the gates, but I'm not afraid to brush that on beyond the line of sight. Really not afraid to brush it on here. There is a good size wind going and anybody who's ever spray painted knows that spray painting in the wind is a pain in the neck. So I'm going to lose a lot of spray uh, to the wind, but uh, let's go ahead and get this down. I'm interested to see how much like a, a pipe it looks. So I'm using my father's tripod. It's uh, last one of the last things I have from my dad. I remember he bought it in uh, Flatlanders in Dewajack, Michigan, which was back in when bookstores used to exist. So let me go ahead and get some of this on there. Ooh. <laughs> did, I, did I already plug it up? I did indeed. I had to turn the cap and start spraying it. Oh my, that looks really good. I'm hoping I've got three cans that that'll be enough to get this done. It already looks good. See all the wind is blowing it. I'm gonna spray paint with the wind for now. <laughs> Maybe it'll die down as the evening, as the evening wears on. Steve, you didn't exactly clean this. No, sir, I did not exactly clean it. Nor am I going to exactly clean this. Now I'm spray painting with one hand and holding the camera with the other. So it's, I don't really have a good view of what y'all are seeing or not seeing, through the magic of editing, I'm expecting this to all look good. Got, Lord knows I got a lot of fence to paint here. So plenty of options to edit it. This will all be wrapped around with concrete and white stone, limestone, over there in a circle to support the weight of the gate. So. To the discerning eye, y'all can tell that some of this doesn't quite fit. <laughs> well, you are right. Some of it doesn't quite fit. But I'm actually good with that. Oh, I can already feel the wind dying down. I might, I might be able to get this all done today. Look at that terrible. I see I was going to get the grinder out and grind all that. That can wait for another day. I might pop those off and fix them later. I, I really want to see what this looks like. 
I want it to go from a galvanized chain link to something beautiful, you know, that looks wrought irony. Oh, I got a little bored, a little ahead of myself. I'm all done doing prep work. Well, no, I'm not all done. I'm bored enough that I'm not doing prep work anymore. <laughs> Instead, I'm doing spray paint. Man, this Eastwood lays down nice. I'm not gonna worry about the ground too much. All right, the wind died. So while the wind is dead, I'm gonna go ahead and set you up over here. Hurry up and do this side that's uh, into the wind. Oh yeah, this looks real good. So if I was, had been brushing it, it would have lots and lots of streaks in it and uh, would have looked pretty bad. Well, I think I did the right choice by using matte black too. This is laying down really nice. opinion is this Eastwood lays down really nice. Now admittedly I the uh, stopper has stopped a couple of times and I've turned it over and sprayed it upside down and blew it clear but it, it's still spray painting. Right, I'm gonna let that cure up and go to the other one. Look at that. Now that made chain link look like a million dollars and I'm not even done yet. A couple of holidays, let me fix those up. All right, I'll let that cure while I move over here and start this side. So I have some that I need to clamp and and fix, but I want to finish this can out. I'm going to go ahead and finish this can. The wind has died down with the evening, and I'm just at that hour where it switches over. I need to work fast, otherwise all your spray paint just gets caught in the wind and just blows away. Now I guess you could do this with a gloss, but uh, I, my personal feeling is by sticking with matte, it looks more like it's, it's uh, actually welded pipe instead of just chain link galvanized chain link. So your choice is yours. The product I like to use is this Eastwood rust inhibitor. Eastwood is the manufacturer and they do make this rust inhibitor in different colors but black seems to be what uh, most men end up buying. <laughs>
All right. So that's it, a full can all the way done. And uh, Eastwood Rust Encapsulator Plus, it's matte black. You can see that looks really, really good. Like it immediately upgraded this from, oh, he's using old chain link to, oh, that might be welded pipe. And then once I hang the uh, old antique barbed wire around here and strap it in, and I've got a cute uh, stainless steel ribbon strapper that I'm gonna try to use. I think the stainless steel will just pop. I think this thing will sizzle. And then uh, where the rolls are, I'm thinking of putting a dream weaver in the middle of it. So that's, uh, I've got two more cans of this. So I've done a total of, with one can, that's eight foot plus a little change. That's another four foot. So I did 12 foot roughly front and back with some high post. So 12 foot. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got uh, six times four, 24 feet left to do. And uh, that's still gonna be the other two cans. So I'm gonna move this way. Now what I might not be able to get is the door there. We'll find out. That one cap of Eastwood, one can of Eastwood, um, uh, the lid was already off, but on the other two cans, it came with the extra nozzle. Man, that is really, that's really a great product. I'm sure these aren't cheap. Always try to get the little ball in there, clacking around real good. I've got one can left. Let's see if I could get these knocked out. You know, I can always order more. <laughs> Not like it's the last spray paint on earth. So now I'm going to go hunt for hol holidays in the paint, which will be a little bit difficult because of the way this dappled sun is coming in. It's hard for me to see what's a miss and what's just the sun. But I still have a half a can here. And, uh, you know, I'm going to make sure that I, I do as good a job as I can.
All right, behind me is my beautiful faux welded pipe chain link fence. Would have cost me, I don't know, two or three thousand dollars, I'm gonna guess, maybe more. Um, probably more. <laughs> Everything's more expensive. Four hundred and fifty dollars. So if I throw in the uh the pipe gate I bought off of Craigslist, then five hundred and fifty bucks, including the gate. So you know that would have been seven thousand bucks with the gate, right? Let's take a look at this beautiful beast. So I think the matte uh, paint went a long way towards uh, making this feel like a sincere, welded pipe fence. Now, the very first thing bulls are going to do, they could go out in the middle of the pasture and fight, sure. But right here's the drama. Right here's where they're going to come. They're going to get in here and they're going to mash against this. And I'm going to tell you right now, that will not hold up to a couple of bulls fighting it out. And that is the difference between my visual uh, tough fence and uh, a real pipe fence, right? Which would be able to withstand bulls going at it. Uh, I mean, they still might bend them, you know, that's 4,000 pounds worth of animals smacking against something. But uh, let's hope not, but the cattle do love drama. And, and they will pick this spot for the drama. But I mean, even the mismatched caps, if you look, like the horse caps look great where they are. They're all at the top. But all the rest of the caps are mismatched. Those aren't the same as these, aren't the same as those. So uh, I feel like uh, I compliment, I created visual harmony. So I'm missing a couple of things still. I need to order one more can of spray paint for that, which is the gate that'll go there. I need to put in some screws at the top. Uh, I might come back in and pop those posts where I oversprayed. I should have taped them off. I was just in a hurry and tired, so I'm done. It's a million degrees, you know, as y'all know. And I I was just so bored with keep working on all the little tiny parts that I, I wanted to jump ahead to this thing. So I'm happy. The next phase is to take these, uh, once it cures, take these, uh, all these antique rolls of barbed wire and hang them in the middle and uh, use the stainless steel uh, zip tie and decoratively attach all of those to the uh, to the gaps to keep the cattle from just you know to pushing their head through for no reason whatsoever calves will go in and out of there the back looks pretty good too I did forgot to bring a water up while I was doing this and I didn't wear my air conditioning unit and it's uh, 99 is when I, what I looked at a little bit hot for me to be out here doing this so my fingers are a mess but I'll get those clean I'll get washed up for the night that's to attach the gates and pour the concrete and build the uh, pylons for them around each section so concrete base plate get that all down that uh, is a couple of hundred pounds easy and it's a long lever so this thing's gonna have to be super strong uh, if I fail, I'm going to have to chip it all out and uh, do it again. So I don't want to fail. <laughs> okay. This is Steve, a thousand year homes. I want to thank you. Look, this low cost pipe fence that's really got a chain link fence looks pretty darn good. Built with uh, antique salvage parts I found, as well as a little ingenuity. And from a distance, I think that that looks, I don't know, mighty good. I'm pretty proud of it.